Hello everyone and welcome back to Piano Secrets. In this video I'm going to be teaching you how to play Marriage de Amor by Paul Desenbel and George Davidson. We're going to start with the melody and this is important that you do it in pairs of two where the second one is louder. That's very important because later on we're going to match the beat with that. Now if we analyze a little bit the melody we have these notes. And those notes are outlining a G minor chord. And that's the chord that we're going to get on the left hand. And we have these notes G, D and B flat which is G minor. So for this first part, you could play the whole entire passage by playing this chord and playing those notes. Up to that point. And then here we'll change the chord. When you have this part, we'll put a C minor chord. C minors like this, C, E flat, G, and we'll flip it to the same way we did uh, G minor. And you have these three notes. By the way, if your hand is too small, you could just take one note or uh, two notes sometimes. This is the bottom one, two of the lower notes. So, what we'll do here is starting on F, we'll do this. We have solved the first melody. So now we'll play it. Okay, remember that the solution, if it's, this is too difficult, you could always play one note. Then you could add two. That means you have to work a little bit on the matching and because eventually what we'll do with this is split it. So we'll do this. minor and then we'll have both hands together now I'm gonna do it very slow when we do it together because some people get confused and so it's G by itself and match match Okay, and eventually what we have all together, very quick. And we have an introduction too, which is the left hand alone, that does this. Bass and we go. solve the two chords the next section we have a melody starting on E flat so we start with this and it has a change there a turn in the second measure so we have this Okay, from what we play on the right hand, we'll know now that we, what we have to play here is an F major. 
comes from them. And then we get this chord. Remember that for most of the song, you could always get away by playing one note if you are a beginner, maybe two notes if you are more advanced, and then the whole full, uh, the tenth that we have. Now, what we'll do is play the chord here, and that will be one of them, F major, and also we have a B flat major, like this. And then we have a D major. So you could do it slowly, F, C, A, B flat, F, B flat, D major, D, F, F sharp, A. So we have F major, B flat, and D. And we could try too much with the punch this chord and play the note, so we'll do that too. And now you have the entire uh, the way it goes. You can start matching one note and two notes, but I'm gonna do it the way how it goes. So we have F, match, 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 match every other note. Okay, one last time a little faster. And this is the first part, and it's gonna repeat two times here, and then it's gonna have a little change there, and we'll do it all together now. So this uh, first part repeats two times, and now we're going to do is on the second repeat. You're going to notice now that we have a different thing. I'm going to do the repetition. It's the same thing. Now this is. A little variation over the D major before we did D major like this now the D major is standard D A D F and it keeps going all the way up and then back to D and the melody what we do is this uh, simple melody E flat So we have these three notes, and we start matching them when we get to the uh, second D. D and F sharp. And that's all there is to it. It's important that you watch it very slowly. And that's the first part. Now we're gonna go to the second part and we have again the same chord. We have G minor and what we're adding is a C. It's almost like a, if you add a C to the chord you make a little bit of a suspension because it's supposed to be B the three notes with the C we create a suspension so we have this note. Notice that it's D, we go down to G, up. Same note. Now instead of going to D, we go to E flat. That's what we have. So let's do it one at a time. First one. That's it only uses this note. The second one uses the same ones but we're gonna go to E flat. So watch for that. Now we go to E flat. 
Now, once we get there on the third one, we get these notes G, C, D, and E flat. And we do one last one. And we have A and F. Again, this is all G minor and then C minor. The chord is flipped. Here we have G, here we have C minor. Okay? We'll do it all one last time. E flat. And then here we get to the F major. Let's talk a little bit about the left hand. And it's going to do two times the same arpeggios and two times the same arpeggios with C minor. So same arpeggios with G minor and C minor. So we have these notes, G, D, G. And then we're going to add with the third figure an A, B flat, and D. Those three notes. We have to rotate on the G. Again. Okay. Now when we do the C minor, we do the same pattern, but we bring it down here. And it's exactly the same. Okay. When we do it together, we'll match the first one. Second one no, and now each one. Back to D and match again. get to E flat C so the important thing is match the first one by itself then together each one of them by itself we go back to the bass E flat now, C, by itself, together. Together. Okay, depending uh, on your level, this might be challenging or it might be easy, I'm not sure. Now let me show you quickly what it will be like. The third part, you have an F major on the melody, but it's using an A at the same time. And all we do is G, F, G, F, and then we do F, G, D. Okay? You can measure this. Okay? And the left hand is going to have an F major arpeggio. So F major is like this. But we're going to stand it everywhere. So we could go. So you could go like this. Flip. All the way up to F here. And then descending. going to change. Now we have this now. A and G matches. Again matches. Okay, I'll do it one last time. Now we get to D and D it triggers a B flat major chord. back so once you would do you have this B flat A G so I will do that very slowly and then once you put the D you have B flat here and it 
goes back. One last time, a little bit faster. And repeats again the same thing. Now the only thing is the arpeggio is even bigger now. We brought it here. And for C minor we'll do the same. We do it together. Then D major at the end. So on this part, uh, pretty much what I do is play the same two times and add some ornaments now and then. But pretty much it's this. So I have F major. flat, D7, back to the same with more notes. An ornament, the arpeggio. Notice that it's the same note but I do. So F, G, F, G, D. Same note. D7. And then I just tend the arpeggio all the way up to D. And this is going to repeat again. So I'll show you what it will be a little bit faster. This part is the third part, and we'll do a fourth part on that, and it's the one where the theme it becomes a little bit slow. Let's do that. So here we still have the same, but we have a different melody, which starts on B flat. And we'll do it again, but slowly. So I will divide just that. Just that. Just that. It's like it's answering one high. High again, high again, and then we define there, we stay on D. The left hand, uh, you have like quarter notes, so you have this. So you have to memorize those. So first, G, D. G minor, C, E flat, C minor, F A, F major, B flat F, G minor again, F major A and C, and then what we'll do is start to put it together. You could take it by four notes, G, D, C, E flat, so we'll do that. Together, together, so pretty much every other note we match, match, by itself, match, by itself, match, by itself.
then you could add again the D major arpeggio at the end. So if we play it quicker, again but higher so the whole song repeats always two times the theme sometimes repeats again and it goes up and down up and down so we play here also we play it same here and then it plays it And then what we have next is the ending. So when you were playing the first part, then it's gonna change to an ending. So let's say if we play from here. So that will be the ending. So we have a D, the same one from the beginning. The D uh, major again, arpeggio, all the way up, F sharp, and then G, all the way up. And then it comes out G minor, it comes out this little melody. And the song ends on, uh, G minor. I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoyed subscribe. Thank you very much.